Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to check out the HS16531 which is a drift car but it also has a very special gimmick which I will show you later. So there we have it in the box, I bought the red version and it looks pretty cool. It does come with two sets of tires, one for drifting, one for racing, 7.4 volt battery, a steering servo and the differentials. There is also a blue version, this is a random of what to get expect inside, a uh, water tank, we have friction dampers, we have 380 motor, we have this atomizing thingy and it's pretty standard. There we have the motor again, ball bearings, uh, metal parts, it's, it's pretty normal. Uh, the upgrades, they, they do look good. Alright, let's open it up. Wow, getting pretty nostalgic here. This is the classic host speed manual, which you should read, of course. One. And two. With the newer HS models, you get this new remote, which is, feels pretty good in my hand. Good for one-handed steering. Has steering trim and speed control. Which is good if you like, for example, have your child drive it. A USB charger, screwdriver, wrenching tool and an extra dog bone. A spoiler. Bottle for the water. Extra drift tires, which don't feel too hard. They feel a bit rubbery on the surface. And the on-road tires are really fitted. Now let's get the car out. Well, I like that the clips will stay attached because I keep losing them. As I already said, inside it looks like most HS models. I mean, we have the atomizer, which is a new thing. We have this water tank where you fill in the water, friction dampers. That would be okay for 40 euro models, but the tires, they feel quite nice. The battery is stored at the bottom. It comes fitted with a lithium iron, but it will take lipo. Alright, now let's fill it up and see the magic. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Whoops, that was too much. 3 AA batteries for the remote. I mean, with the muscle car design and the lights and everything, it looks very much like it could be out of the Batman movie and it will let you roam the streets as the Dark Knight. And let's get to the top because I want to see how it steers. Well, it's not too fast and the tires are pretty grippy, so it's difficult to drift with the on-road tires. Actually, if it wasn't advertised as a drifting car, I would say it's pretty cool. It's a great on-road racing car. I mean, it takes every corner like a champ. I mean, it would be cool to see this thing brushless though and with actual oil dampers and everything. It, that would be interesting. I would like to see it. I would like to try it. Don't make it cost more than 100 euros. Yum. I didn't see the actual car coming there. I mean, I was protected, but I was worried for the car. It doesn't say that this car has any waterproofing and uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but I want to try and make it drift while having wet tires. But 
it doesn't really want to drift so I will put on the plastic tires and see what's happening then. All right, tires are fitted now. Let's see whether we can finally get to drift. Oh, something's gone loose and oh my god, that's a lot of water. Oh, the steering link popped off, but you can pop it right back on there. But it's not a second time that this happened and it's exactly on the left side, like with my other HS. Okay, I bumped into a signpost the last time. All right, back in action. So in conclusion, I think this car has a problem with branding. It's sold as a drift car, which does not drift. There's also no gyro in it. I mean, if you make this the brushless version, ditch the drift tires, give it a stronger motor, it would be such a great muscle car. Please give this video a like and thank you for watching.